Hello my little storm clouds and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. You might have seen I've started a series of trapping my sims in the randomest of places. We've already done a hamster cage and a fish tank. I was suggested by this commenter to do it in a microwave so that's what I'm doing today. If you have any other ideas on what you would like me to trap my sim in, um, somebody said a glass front fridge so I might be doing that one next. I'm having really good fun doing this so sorry if this is the only content I'm doing right now. I'm on a ball, I'm really loving it, it's funny. So let's jump into the tutorial. First, grabbing an island counter and it must be an island counter. I will quickly show you why. If I grab this one, which is a normal counter and this one, which is an island counter, the island counter is just the version that has the little lip on it so you can put bar stools. If I try to size this up, you can see it's not doing anything. Whereas this one actually sizes up. So that's the reason we're using that one. I'm gonna make it yellow because I want a bright color. And we're gonna size this up eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have a huge counter now. Now what I'm gonna do is draw a room using the room tool and it really does not matter where you place it, do not matter what height it is, just place it somewhere sort of near this so we can see the height. Now we're gonna draw another room on the top and then all we're gonna do is click on the lower room and press delete to remove it. Now grab your room and we're gonna move this up till it is just above the counter so we do want it floating just a little bit. And then we can just adjust this till it is the size of the counter or just smaller than the counter because the microwave is gonna be just smaller. You don't have to do this exactly right right now. You can change it later on. So don't worry about it just by clicking on it and dragging it. Now you want to remove the walls. This just makes everything a little bit easier. You can click on the rooms and click remove wall or you can use the sledgehammer tool. I'd also recommend removing the ceiling. So just page up, click on the ceiling, then click on the yellow line and remove the ceiling. This is just because when we place the ladders later on, it will try snap to the ceiling. Otherwise, you can, you can add the ceiling back in if you do want it in. That's fine, all you do later on is click on it and then when the yellow line pops up, you build the ceiling and you'll have a ceiling again. Now we need another counter. This is for the microwave to actually go on. It really doesn't matter what counter it is. It can be a normal counter because we're not gonna see it and you can raise these up. I'm gonna grab a microwave. So I'm just gonna use this one because I feel like you can see in this one pretty well. It is the cheapest one. I'm gonna size the microwave up 10 times so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i have a giant microwave so to move this microwave around you want to actually grab the counter and it will size down back small i know that's annoying but it's just the way this works like you release it and it goes back big so what we're going to do is raise this up um until the microwave sits on top of this you can't see because it it's inside now this bit's a little bit tricky it's best if you have the grid on have it so the microwave's just sticking through and not the counter so it should look like this now you want to find the center of your grid you don't want it to pop up so you might have to like angle down so it's actually underneath is this the center i think this is the center and then release and then you'll have a microwave on there so you can see the little bit of this at the front. You could go ahead and just drag this back one. Actually, it's slightly changed this since the shot I made because I worked something out. What you want to do is actually extend this floor that we've made past the counter. In my short version, I had to put this in the basement because it wasn't allowing my sim to walk up, but it was because it was getting in the way of the ladder. So if we just move the ladder to this point, it works totally fine. So I'm just going to extend that there. It may move the microwave just because of how the sims work. So what I'm going to do is just raise this up once. I think I do need to raise it once anyway. If you want to move the microwave, you just have to select that counter again just under there and we'll have to reposition it. I'm going to guess about there. Yeah, that's perfect. So now this comes out to here, we should be able to put some ladders on here. The ladders are found in the stairs section. So I'm just gonna grab those and place them there. And I'm just gonna do a quick test. As long as my sim can get up here, everything should be fine. Yep, she can get up there. She's not saying she can't. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. So now it's just a case of adding everything you want in here. So we're gonna add a bed and a double bed foot does fit in here just fine. 
and you can just place it there and if you need to go in because like you can't click on that now look it just clicks on the microwave what you can do is just zoom right in and the microwave will like disappear and you'll be in here and you can adjust things as necessary like that let's add a small bathroom and actually let's pop that there let's add and you can always just zoom out to make sure everything's in the correct place you can sort of guess let's put a kitchen over this side going with a matching yellow theme we have a little fully functional kitchen there you could go ahead and add more details you could put cabinets on the wall easy way to do it is actually draw a wall in put the cabinets on the wall then remove the wall and they will be in the correct place and i'm going to add a little seating area and a tv just here and for the tv you can just do one that hangs on the wall and you can just hang it on the wall yourself by raising it up like so and to add some privacy i like to add a little half wall inside and to like block off the toilet area something like this and your sim can still get in the bed there just fine with that wall so don't worry about that you can even fit a desk in here at the end of the bed. So if I just, again, just zoom in. Just here I think works. I will test everything at the end as I like to do to show you things work. And let's put a little computer on there. Don't forget to paint the floor. Even though you can't see it, um, it's just to stop your sims complaining about things because they will complain. So let's test everything works. Uh, if we're going to game so the lighting could have changed i haven't put any lighting in here you could go ahead and do that but just for the sake of being quick for this tutorial there's a couple of ways you can click on things in here you can't technically click on it because it's clicking on the microwave you can zoom in to click sleep and stuff like that or you can click on these things here if you click here if i click hunger you'll see over here it has now done the interaction so let's see her coming up and doing everything she needs Go on. Right, she's going to the toilet. She's washing her hands. She's having food, but she's standing outside to eat it. Um, good job. Energy. She's sleeping on there. I need to know if you can sleep in the bed. Yep, she can sleep in the bed. Okay, the computer's not working. I think it might be too much over the bed. Um, so I'll just move that. Either that or my sim's not listening to me. That is a thing that happens quite often. My sim just doesn't want to do what I tell her. Wait, can you at least see? She told you, my sim just does not like listening to me. And she's left her food over there. She's, she's annoying. But you can see everything in there fully works. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.